All right. Shalom to the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a quick lesson touching on, you know, end time prophecy, uh, uproars of the people and sedition amongst men. Okay, now um, as I go and play this quick video from off the one of the beloved brothers, GMS Zeal of God, okay, going into a news clipping off of RT, uh, different protests and uproars of the people that's taking place, man, <clears throat> all throughout different parts of the region of the earth. And once again, this is end time prophecy, man. Because who the world calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew told his prophets or uh, the disciples at that time okay which the prophets today you know the disciples that eventually became apostles uh, about the second coming what to look for in Matthew the 24th chapter okay of his second coming and all all throughout different parts of the Bible man okay speak about all roles of the people as you can see uh, the brother have the scripture second edges chapter 15 and 16 on the screen okay and i'm gonna read that scripture as well but this is what we're looking forward to man another indicator of a key sign that we at the, the point of civil unrest okay and sedition amongst men that all hell is about to break loose man as you can see these citizens taking a stand against the powers that be meaning their government okay you're starting to see the people more and more uh, um, getting to the point that they're tired of the, the tyranny, okay? About to cause a lot of anarchy in the streets. And that's only going to lead to more strict legislations, man, okay? Uh, in the hour of uh, martial law, okay? When these troops going to portray throughout different parts of the region of the earth, especially when it comes to America, Babylon the Great, Okay, and you're starting to see things unfold here as well with a great civil war that's on our rise, man. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and play this video and get into the lesson. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. And I, so you can see this protest uh, is taking place in um, Haiti, okay, in Haiti, okay, which go back to one of the tribes, um, the Haitians, so-called Haitians, of the tribe of uh, Levi, okay, which are Israelites, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on playing. Okay, now this one is taking place over there in New Zealand, okay? But you have Israelites scattered amongst them as well, okay? But mainly, a uh, majority of the people that's in New Zealand, besides Israelites, you know, uh, you know like I say, you know, Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, and um, Japheth, okay? Which are one of the you know, sons of Noah, okay? Going back into, you know, the day would be known as the 
Hawaiians, the Samoans, okay, the over there in um, Vietnam, okay, different parts of the um, eastern, upper e eastern hemisphere, okay, and to these islands such as, like I say, Hawaii, New Zealand, okay, which you have Israelites scattered amongst them, but you also see that the protesting is going on over there, okay, against the, the whole C-19 situation that's still in effect, okay. Yeah, so this show you prophecy how it went from Haiti, okay, that mostly over here in the Western Hemisphere, over there to the East, okay, the Eastern Hemisphere, the Far East, New Zealand. Where we had freedoms, where we had our individual rights. Okay, so now you're seeing this taking place over there in Argentina, okay? The cost of living protests, okay? And a lot of these, you know, countries, okay, over here in the Western Hemisphere as Central America, South America is going through it right now, man. And you just now have recently Argentina joining uh, the BRICS, um, you know, the BRICS format, okay? The BRICS, when they're going into the financial format of you know russia being led by russia okay which the acronym BRICS, meaning brazil russia um uh, india china and south africa okay and, but now you have argentina that had joined and i believe also on uh, iran okay or iran okay when it comes to financial help okay those Nations coming together for, you know, the bill of economy. Okay, those powers. Uh, once again, Russia being the, the lead. But you see what's happening in Argentina, okay? Which uh, uh, majority of the people over there in Argentina, they're Israelites as well, okay? I believe from the tribe of uh, Asher, okay? Matter of fact, Salaki, the, the tribe of, um, it's the tribe of Nathali. Okay, Salaki for that, Nathali. Now, this over here is in uh, Bolivia, okay, which is uh, another Central America or South America, uh, you know, small country, okay, which are, you know, Israelites, okay? And you're going to have heathens scattered amongst them as well, but we already know about how Esau Edom came over here and conquered this side of the world, okay, which were, uh, they conquered Israelites, okay, the Northern King, Latinos, Hispanic, and Native Americans. And you, and you see scourges, 
uh, skirmishes, so like skirmishes, happening like this worldwide, man. Okay, you know, so much happening. You know, you know, different reports coming out daily, man. Okay, happening. You know, this report came out of what's happening worldwide, man. Okay, when it comes to uproar, so the people, you know, protesting and rallies, man. Okay, leading to skirmishes, man. And it's only going to get worse and more intensified from here on out, man. And I'm going to read that real quick off the screen. Because hey, this is the time that we're in, man. We're in the time of Yahweh Bashim Shah fulfilling prophecy, man. Which eventually going to lead to what? As we you know, know in the scriptures, us that's in the faith and those that's, you know, newly coming into, you know, learning about this truth. That, you know, we come to the understanding that part of biblical prophecy, one of the key prophecy leading up to Yahweh Shah's second coming. Okay. It's the, the prophecy of the Third World War. Which is going to lead to the destruction of America by the way of thermonuclear fire, man. Okay? Well, we've seen Yahweh Shimei was shy bringing forth the prophecies and at the point of fulfilling the, the, the prophecies. As I'm going to read this Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am power, okay? Or for I am God, okay? Which the word God means power in the Hebrew. Allah or Allah Hayim, okay? And it says, For I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. And that's what we're witnessing from the power, our power, the God of the universe and the creator of all things, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and through His Son, Yahweh Shai, okay, which is our power, man, okay, everything that was declared ever since the beginning, ever since the ancient times, ever since these prophecies was written, okay, in these books, okay, collectively as the Bible, okay, by the men of the Lord, we're witnessing that now being played out, okay, and we're witnessing that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai counsel is going to stand, okay. So that's it on that. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. And I'm going to go to the book of um, a second edge chapter 15. Okay. The first scripture that, you know, the brother posted up there before the beginning of the video. Okay. Before, you know, went into those protests. Second edge chapter 15. And I'm going to start off at 14. Okay. Because this is the times that we've seen. Okay. Second Edge chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and dumb that the world therein. The word woe means destruction, because that's what's coming. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. Okay? And the sword is represent a killing instrument. Okay? And the modern day sword that majority of the, the world hold, okay, especially here in America, is the gun. Okay? From the average person that have guns to the, the military, okay? And it says, For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand, okay? Because like I say, man, you're going to have a third world war that eventually is going to lead to this place being destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire, but it's also going to be a, a war when these nations are going to gather together in the Middle East to fight against each other, okay? And besides that, you're going to have race wars, Okay? Civil wars, clash wars, okay? And all of it is going to be deadly, man. A lot of bloodshed, okay? What Edges is prophesying here, okay? And all throughout the scriptures. And it says, And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. 
okay, going against their government, okay? They shall not regard their kings nor princes, okay? The mind of their kings or princes going into the presidents, the prime ministers, okay? The body government or what's ruling over there in those certain, you know, countries, okay? The mayors, senators, okay? Especially like here in America, okay? The powers that be, okay? And it says, and they shall not regard the kings nor princes and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. And that's going into the citizens, okay? The individuals that being ruled by these governors or these uh, governments, hey, they, they're going to come to the point that they ain't going to take heed, okay, to the executive orders or, or, or whatever they're trying to bring forth, okay? Uh, uh, they're trying to constantly oppress and control the people, man, okay? And they're going to stand up and rebel, okay, sedition. Okay, they're going to go against their government. Okay, and that's why you have the talks of eventually martial law. Okay, and it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that's due to also what? Martial law. When anarchy break loose, when all hell break loose, okay, it's going to be um, checkpoints, travel bans, okay, military, uh, military soldiers and vehicles okay portraying all throughout different parts of the uh, uh cities countries okay barricades executive orders uh uh curfews okay and it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride the cities shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men should be afraid. Yeah, so it's going to even lead to that, man. Okay? A lot, of, a lot of anarchy when it comes to lawless, man. Okay? To the point that people are going to be turning on each other. Okay? Clash wars. Race wars. Okay? More and more division. And it says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy it, but shall destroy the houses with the sword, and spoiled their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's how bad it's going to get, man. Okay? When it's lawless, and especially there's no food, there's no power, and you're starting to see people experience that now, uh, uh, these different countries. Okay, Sri Lanka, okay, dealing with, you know, uh, uproars of the people. Okay, de dealing with power outages, out outages. Okay? Uh, uh, China, okay, going through the stage of martial law. Okay, you just not have Panama, okay, going through a uproars and protests against their government, and you just now witness uh, a couple of countries on that video, man. Okay, such as Haiti, Argentina, Bolivia, New Zealand. Okay, and it says, and it says, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy the houses with the sword, sport and, and, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yeah, and the famine. Okay. Famine, no food, no running water. Or like I say, no power. Okay, a when this whole global financial economy crash, okay, and they're gonna introduce that, you know, the new currency, okay, the MOTB, the micro. And you're seeing the stage of that being set now, okay? A new di digital system. And a lot of people are going to fall and submit to it due to the great tribulations. And the hell that's going to be breaking loose, man, okay? That they're going to have to submit to their the government. And other, But in otherwise, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to still constantly resist and take matters in their own hand, okay? And survive, survive by any means necessary, man. Okay, to the point that these people are going to be evading each other, man, <clears throat> due to the lack of resources. Okay, like here in America, man, you're going to have a lot of these um, marketplaces being closed. Okay, a lot of these restaurants. Okay, you know, everything that, you know, that people use for their daily necessary, you know, in life. Okay. A, a lot of it going to be cut off, man. And that's going to lead to a lot of uh, uproars of the people. So that's it on that.
And I'm going to go to Second Edges chapter 9. Okay, another prophecy going into the uproars of the people, what we should look for. There's a second edge of chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the sign pass, which I had told thee before, okay, and that's what we're doing, us of the hopeful elect, man, we're measuring the times of the signs of Yahweh Shemiah was shy, okay, a great destruction, which is going to lead to uh, Yahweh Shai returning, man, to bring salvation to the nation of Israel, start with the elect, and to put down all rules of these heathen nations starting with Esau, Edom, okay, mainly these elites, okay, and what we're witnessing is leading up to that, okay, which is prophecy. Verse 2, then shall thy understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made, yeah, because this is the time of Yahweh Basham al fulfilling judgment, okay, he's visiting this earth, okay, and one of the ways that he's visiting is putting the spirit on the people to take a stand, okay, causing uproars to come against their government, okay? And it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, okay, you see that, earthquakes, okay, and a pond and an up, and therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we just now witnessed that on that video, and on many uh, occasions, man, and once again, it's going to intensify even more as we head in more and more to the near future of great distress, anguish, turmoil, calamity, okay, destruction, mass death, okay? Then shall thy well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And we start to see a glimpse of, of that now, us that's in the faith. But well, we're going to truly, fully understand when Yahweh Bashim Yahushai fulfill uh, the prophecy of sedition amongst men. And this world going to uh, understand too, man, okay, that we're approaching the time, especially our people, okay, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, when the time of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7 hit, okay, which is known as Jacob's trouble, okay, and all these other nations, when all hell break loose, man, and things get more tighter, okay, but the elect is going to fully understand and know that this is the will of the true power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to be on the verge of uh, his second coming to bring salvation, okay, out of that destruction, okay. Verse 5, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in the in, in wonders, wonder, and powerful works, and endings in effect and signs. So we starting to see the effect and the powerful works of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, and those are signs. Okay, for us, man. Okay, for the whole world, but especially like I say, for the for the elect. Okay, us uh, other hopeful elect to know and the knowledge that this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, so that's it on that. Let me see. Um, like I say, a Yahweh Shai spoke of it in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter to his disciples at that time. What to look for of his second coming as they was acquiring. Okay, and this stands today. Okay, Matthew chapter twenty four, verse um seven. Okay, I'll start off at verse six. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Aren't we hearing about that and seeing that? Okay, the wars against these you know, nations, okay, in particular, uh, Russia and America, Israel and uh, Iran, Israel and Palestine, okay, China and Taiwan, okay, NATO and Russia, Russia and Ukraine, okay, North Korea and America, all those are wars and rumors of wars, okay, rumors of wars are eventually going to be a war. Okay, as we head into the time of the Third World War. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must have come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, because what Yahweh Shah was telling them, majority of it was appointed for this time. Okay, now we're at the time of these prophecies or these signs coming to pass. <clears throat> Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, we're witnessing that, okay? People 
of the different nations, okay, that's into the different sets of these kingdoms uprising against uh, the the powers that be, the governors, the government, okay, and division even amongst these nations, okay, within their own uh, uh, kingdom, okay, and in particular here in America, okay, which is going to lead to civil unrest, okay, race wars, clash wars, okay, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, okay, division, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, and we're witnessing all that too, man, we're witnessing famines that's about to take place, pestilence, okay, every time you look, there's a new pestilence coming out, man, that furthermore bringing division, because we already understand that a lot of these pestilence are orchestrated, and you saw Edom and these governments are being exposed, okay, in particular in New Zealand, okay, they show that clip how you had people protesting and rallying against the government due to the uh, the executive orders that the government put out about the C-19, okay, and a lot of people are waking up to these man-made orchestrated pestilence, man, okay, but they are prophecy, okay, just as natural pestilence that Yahweh Shemal is bringing, okay, and it says, and there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, yeah, earthquakes, and you no, know, recently us here at South Carolina, the brothers been bringing out that, you know, here in South Carolina, okay, uh, uh, here in South Carolina, uh, experiencing uh, earthquakes uh, frequently, okay, small multi ma ma magnitude earthquakes, okay, but they're earthquakes, man, okay, that soon can be a, a big one, okay, but worldwide, you starting to see earthquakes, okay, reports on earthquakes that are leading, leading to devastation, man, okay, like I say, it's rare for it to happen in South Carolina, okay, it trembles come here and there, but it happened infrequently, and this will will consider like a diverse place, okay, because it's rare, okay, that people to hear about earthquakes in South Carolina, okay, verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows, and that's what we're starting to witness, the beginning of sorrows, man, okay, a great uh, mourning, death, okay, destruction, so that's it on that, let me see, um, I'm going to get this as well. Because like I say, you're going to have civil unrest, a big time civil war here in America, man. Okay, because the Lord is saving this place for last, man. They have the worst judgment. Now I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. And it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Yeah, so it's not actually talking about ancient Egypt, okay, what was known for the Hamites, the original Africans, okay, through Mizraim, okay, one of the sons of Ham that ruled over us during the time of ancient Egypt, okay, over us, the Israelites, okay, you know about the deliverance, the exodus of Moses delivering the children of Israel, okay, but it's going into this time, okay, the spiritual Egypt, okay, which is America because this is like Egypt for us all over again, okay, this captivity, which the word Egypt is a Greek word meaning bondage, and this is the spiritual or the modern day bondage or Egypt for us, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and history proved that, okay, but the modern day Pharaoh is Esau Edom through this government, okay, because when you read the scriptures, it's, it's codified, okay, it's, you know, it's uh, allegories, symbols, lism, Okay, or uh, uh, supplitudes that only Yahweh Bashmiah Shai give it to his prophets, as is written in Amos 3 and 7, to reveal, okay, when it goes into the understanding of the prophecy that America is in the Bible. And this understanding it is, is, is through different various ancient kingdoms, okay, such as Babylon, okay, such as um, Rome, okay, uh, Nineveh. Assyria, okay, and also one of the names, Egypt, okay, so this is the modern day or the spiritual Egypt today for the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, America, 
And it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. So that's the division. Okay. A civil war. Okay. And it says, and no civil wars, race wars. Okay. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city. And kingdom against kingdom. So once again, that's the vision, man. Okay, that's going to happen here in America. And we're starting to see that also worldwide, man. Okay, but this is going into, you know, the division here in America. The civil unrest. Okay, and that's soon to come. And we're starting to see that now. Uh, let me get this. And I'll get ready to close. Second Edges, chapter 13, verse... 29 <clears throat> and it says <clears throat> and it says behold the days come when the most high will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth and that's going into the elect call under the elect the 144,000 and one third that's going to wake up and receive the truth that's going to lead to salvation okay when Yahweh shall return to deliver the elect by the way of the chariots okay uh, which the world call you were foes at the peak of the third world war and at that time, simultaneously, you're going to have those missiles being launched, okay, that going to bring the destruction to America. And the Lord is going to beam up his elect for my that destruction, okay, into those chariots, man. Okay, here in America and worldwide, okay. But it starts with his truth, or the awakening of the elect, okay. Because two-thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed here on this side, okay. The wicked ones of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, that's not going to come back and fully or not receive the truth or not fully acknowledge the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is only looking for that remnant. Okay? And we're starting to see that through these prophecies. Verse 30. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? And one shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another. One place against another. One people against another. And one realm against another. So that's that division. Okay, that's coming from the Heavenly Father and the Son. Here on the earth, man. You're starting to see a people, the division, uproars of the people, man. Sedition. Okay. Verse 32. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass. The signs shall happen which I showed thee before. And then shall my son be declared whom thou sawest. As a man ascended, and that's going into Yahweh Shai returning, okay. And from um, by the way of the chariots, okay, because you remember in Acts the first chapter, uh, after the resurrection of Yahweh Shai, okay, after those three days, okay, he came, you know, to sit with the apostles and the believers, his followers back then for forty days, okay. Then eventually, a chariot came, and he ascended up, okay, which from that time now. He's going to come back in the same manner, the same likeness, okay, as the angel told him, okay, as he was taken up. So he's coming back by the way of the, the chariots, the so-called UFOs, okay, and the angels, okay, the, the, the rage war and only bring salvation to the elect, okay? So that's what they're going into, and we're at that point in time. And one of the key signs leading up to that, to know that we're at that time, are the uproars of the people, man. Okay, and civil unrest. Now I'm gonna end off with um I'm gonna go to the book of uh, Habakkuk chapter two verse one. And it says, And I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Okay, and that's going to us of the hopeful elect, man. We're watching, okay? And we'll, uh for the return of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, or Yahweh Shai. Through these signs. Okay, once again, measuring the times digitally in itself. Second Edge, chapter 9, verse 1. Okay. And it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Okay, the vision is another way of saying prophecies. Okay. And the table is the Holy Bible, the scriptures. That he may run that readeth it. And you've seen that, okay? The Lord has opened up the minds of the elect, okay? Starting with the prophets, okay? To go out there and teach this word, okay? Mainly start with the men of Great Millstone, our apostles and elders, uh, and, the, uh, and the, you know, brothers on down, and those that 
like-minded, okay, uh, of the hopeful elect, okay, that's out there teaching his word, giving that warning, forewarning of what's to come, okay, which is prophecy of great destruction, okay, by the way of the highways and byways and uh, of the camps that people don't um, acknowledge, okay, and by this word is being pushed on the internet while it's available, okay, because we also come into the time of the famine of the word, okay, verse 3, for the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, and one of those visions that we see coming at a point in time is uproars of the people, okay, sedition amongst men, okay, civil unrest, okay, anarchy about to break loose, man, and it says, but at that, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So we're seeing that, man. Okay, it's not tarrying, man. And that's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson off by closing out, by giving all praises once again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Raka Kodash, praying that the lesson be edifying. Okay, and once again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers scattered worldwide that's in the faith. Uh, that's exalting the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all truth and sincerity. Okay, to the elect of Yahweh Shai. Until the next time, Shalom.